All right, before we begin, my friends, let's say thanks to our sponsors like Inspect All Pest Services. If you're looking for the highest quality termite pest and wildlife control, those them the people. They'll also take care of your insulation, pressure washing, gutter maintenance, and other home services there. If you're in the metro Atlanta and surrounding areas, inspect all pest services. Dot com. The Aurora Law Firm need help, get help. You can do that with a mad dog too. Criminal defense, white collar crime, DUI, drug offenses, appeals, and more. Based out of Georgia, but litigates all over the United States. So wherever you're at, the mad dog can help you. The AuroraLawFirm.com. He'll be on this week, next week. So if you have any questions, get them to me, TheBaileyShow.com. Uh, another need help, get help, Ridgeline Counseling. That's Dr. David Markwell and his 10 therapist in-house. There are three locations, one across from Sprayberry High School in Sandy Plains and East Cobb, Marietta near the square in McKaysville outside of Blue Ridge. Uh, he offers in-person or virtual sessions. So whether you're in Georgia or not, you can still get help from the best in the business. That's markwelltherapy.com or email him ridgelinecounseling at gmail.com. FPC Insurance, we are new homeowners. We have like three different policies that FPC Insurance got us. They're great. Maybe you're just looking to reshop your current insurance policies uh, reach out to them without a doubt, 888-308-1841, or you can email them, info at fbcinsuranceservices.com. Five-star services, uh, five-star service, and you can shop over 35 A-rated companies. That's a big to-do. Looking to buy or sell a house in Florida or Georgia? That's my wife. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Rachel Guy can help you out. So, 404-797-4600, or you can email her, I am Rachel Guy at gmail.com. Just that simple. Call your guy. Call your guy. Alternate Power Solutions, family owned and operated. Uh, they're in Georgia. They are a Generac generator dealer offering sale. You know what that is? That's like the 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 powers the entire house. Beast generator, yeah. Yeah, the home generator yeah. stuff. Offering sales service installation and repair of automatic uh, home standby and portable generators. Plus, you know, every customer, you get an upgraded warranty, free monitoring, and a service contract. This is such a great deal. Really, it is. Good people, too. Call or request a free home assessment, 770-853-7571. 770-853-7571. We can go online to poweringgeorgia.com. You give the discount code Bailey for $500 off the entire uh, installation. That's cool. I want one of those guys. I know, me too. <laughs> JHM Land Solutions, family owned and operated, grading, land clearing, mulching, and tree company. This is for residential or commercial. Like you got a lot of land, you look in the backyard, like I don't want to do it. That's what JHM Land Solutions. That's what they should call themselves. JHM Land Solutions. I don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, servicing Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, land clearing, grading, mulching, and tree work. 770-274-9120. I mean, really, who wants to do that? Nobody wants to do it. <laughs> and they go to the Alabama. Yeah, they go to the Bammers. Uh, and then last but not least, Jayco Contracting, Cliff Bratcher. This guy works tirelessly. He's just waiting for your phone call because it's very difficult to find an honest roofing specialist. And that's, that's true. Cliff is, is like as honest as it gets. This dude is awesome. He's just trying to feed a family, make a living, and make a name for himself. Uh, so if you are looking for a new roof, give Cliff Bratcher a call, 770-316-3876. This dude's standing by, operator standing by, uh, covering all of Georgia, roofing and gutter specialist, satisfaction guaranteed. And this is commercial and residential. So like you got a big business, you're looking for new roof, gutters, boom, Cliff's the guy. Free gutter guards with the purchase of a roof too, by the way. Uh, you can get more information about Jayco Contracting on their website, jacocontracting.com. Thanks to our sponsors for you two peers, you uh, listeners of the, the show. Please use our sponsors as they are nice enough to trust me with their brand. We hope that we can give it back to them tenfold by using their product or their service. Uh, and you can get all that information on thebaileyshow.com, including any information you need to get a hold of me. If you'd like to be on the show, you'd like to sponsor the podcast, the radio show, any of the podcast and pours events, including the ones going into next year we're already working on. Yep. Please reach out to me via thebaileyshow.com. All right, let's begin. Go ahead and leave a comment about how you deal with your children leaving home while I recover. 
go ahead and leave a comment about how you deal with your children leaving home while I recover. Honey, I raised the kids. Our kids leaving the nest is never easy. So in order to cope, Jason and Rachel have decided to share the journey of their kids, Caleb and Ariel, or bees as most know her. Follow the story in this podcast. <laughs> Honey, I raised the kids. Night, there it is, episode 25 of Honey. I raised the kids. Thanks for being here. My name's Jason Bailey. There's my lovely wife, Rachel Guy. Hey, y'all. Better known as Ray J. Yeah, I like us as Ray J. I like us as Ray J. I feel like we should make a breakfast. A breakfast? Like, yeah, like a breakfast and call it Ray J. Ray J and eggs? The Ray J. Hell, Petunia. Ray J and eggs? Yeah. Yeah. She wants to play. I know. She, it's a. I don't think you know what's going on behind me right now. No, what's going on behind you? wild child dog over here. Oh, I know last week when we were talking about uh, Ariel and uh, her uh, love for gingers because of the dogs, because of her dog, Henry. <laughs> and and we do we do this video, we do this show, the, the full show is on the BS YouTube channel. So people like when the dogs make an appearance. You can see Tuna right now. You she's can see got, Henry in the background, she's too. She's got a lovely mustache. All the pretty girls have mustaches. Yeah, she's got the mustache. Mustache is coming in fire. That's the tutus right there. Yeah, Hello, she's tutus. She's beautiful girl. Tutus, say hi to everybody. Can we all say hi? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a beautiful girl. She's a little chubby girl. She is. <laughs> she's big old butts. <laughs> Everybody likes the girls with the big old butts. Yeah, she got the big old butts yeah. and the mustache. She's the hottest girl out there. <laughs> she knows what's going on, huh? All right, uh, so thanks for being here. Remember, podcast in pours three and four. Uh, those tickets available via thebaileyshow.com. We got three coming up in Atlanta. Uh, that is next month. coming. It's like coming up quickly. Uh, and then podcast in pours four in December in Orlando. Uh, Distinct Grace will headline three in Atlanta. Uh, Saliva, the band, uh, special unplugged acoustic uh, set they'll be doing, which they don't do very often. They'll be doing uh, for Podcast and Pours 4 for you guys at Elixir downtown. So Tannery Row, Atlanta, Podcast and Pours 3, Distinct Grace headlining, and then Podcast and Pours 4, that is Saliva with Distinct Grace, and uh, that is at Elixir downtown. Tier 1 tickets have already sold out for, for Podcast and Pours 4. And I told you guys at the beginning of this that it was a tier, you know, a tier method. Like tier one is fifteen bucks, and then twenty bucks, and then twenty five bucks, so on and so forth. So I I want you there, and I don't want you to pay a lot. I mean, five bucks counts, right? Especially if you're buying three or four tickets. That's fifteen twenty dollars. Sure. So, so get those, you know. And tier two is close to selling out. So go to thebaileyshow.com. Get them now. We y- like to party. Yeah, get your get your tickets before it gets up to tier three or tier four or whatever the case may be. You wait till you know when it's all said and done, and your day of show, and it's like forty bucks, you know, or something like that. So uh, please get on that immediately. Thebaileyshow.com. I'd like a nice big week of ticket sales, just so I know it's just not going to be me and saliva at Elixir downtown Saturday, December fourteenth. Which would be kind of cool. I, mean, Actually, I, I wouldn't be mad about it. It would be a little embarrassing that we didn't, you know, do much with the event, but uh, be kind of cool. It'd be ca- I, it's fine, I y'all. You know what? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think my partners at the event are going to be very happy about no. it. But I got to tell you, that would be, no. I'd be. I tricked you guys. I just wanted a private performance with saliva. Uh-huh, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we like to party. Let's do it. So, uh, so you know, this podcast again for those that aren't familiar is about Rach and I becoming empty nesters. And it's funny now that we're back in Orlando and, and we're reconnecting with some people that might have no idea what I'm up to or what we're doing and so on and so forth. And, you know, like this past weekend, we were out at an event in Mount Dora called, uh, it was... It was uh, Pit Masters and Pourers. Pit Masters and Pourers. Very close to yeah, Podcast and Pourers. Tricky. But Pit Masters and Pourers. And it was such a fantastic event. And it was so well run. Uh, and a lot of people now that the podcast is on my old radio station here in Orlando, WJRR, um, you know, I'm going to go to the events and support the station and support the staff mm-hmm. and, and all those types mm-hmm. of things. And and so, by the way, Saturdays from six to nine, I might even start throwing in a couple of the honey, uh, a couple uh, honey segments. Hey, everybody uh, loves us. I know. I might start throwing some of these in. You listeners here <clears throat> remember when we first started dating and you, sir, were never getting married again. 
Right, yeah. <laughs> they remember from back in the day. Yeah. Never getting married again and never having kids. Well, they Look at you now. They went through, you know, young Jason. Yep. F- first girl lived with Jason. Yep. Um, bunch of crazy girls, Jason. Bucket tamer Jason. Bucket tamer. <laughs> bucket tamer Rachel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, the bachelor days out on the street and, yeah. and you know, first marriage and divorce. And yeah. so, you know, I mean, they, they went through, they went through it all with me, um, yeah. without a doubt. So and you know, I take credit for taming the beast, but I really think it was bees. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a lot to do with bees. <laughs> It wasn't me, guys. It's like you can look like an ass in front of another adult, but in front of a just teeny little eight-year-old princess. princess yeah. yeah, that's that's a tamer right there. Correct I gotta tell you. It. Yeah, that's so. You know, when we go around, we we tell everybody what we're doing, and you know, when we got our super secret special project. Which, by the way, I'm not just I'm not being a dick by not announcing what it is. I'm, I'm not ready yet. We're just it's not so exciting. We're just not ready to announce it but i want you to be ready for it yeah it's called a tease in my business there's one guy on our, my social media that he was like true radio guy always teasing something <laughs> it's in my dna dude you are correct i, I can't do it but it, but it helps and it works you know from the marketing standpoint but uh, in all honesty i i can't I, I we're not ready to announce it yet because i'm so excited um it's a it's a lot of techie stuff with yeah. the website and the and the database and all those types of things yeah. but when we're ready because we're you know, we have to make an announcement here soon. Very soon. Because our grand opening is going to be at the end of October. Yep. And so hopefully people near and far will, will come and check it out. Um, Y'all don't want to miss this. You know, but it's very exciting. But I'm not trying, I'm not being a dick by not telling you what it is. Anyway, so my point is, is like we're out at this event and there's a lot of, you know, people that I haven't seen in a while that I worked with from back in the day and, and we're talking with them and so on and so forth. Like, what are you doing? And, you know, I heard you're back on the state. You know, things like that. And, you know, we tell them about this podcast and everybody loves it. Everybody yeah. loves it. Everybody yeah. loves the idea of talking about being empty nesters. Because well, everybody has either been there or are on their way there. Right. And, you know, some people, you know, like Jack Bradshaw and his wife, yeah. who works at Real Radio. Great yeah. guy, by the way. Fantastic guy. And he and his wife. I've always been very nice to me. So <clears throat> nice. It was crazy. Like, he, Jack never ages. He looks the same as he did the time when when I, we last saw him in Orlando before we left. Yeah, he's got this found of youth thing going. Yeah. He always has. He's but, like Paul Rudd. But he never ages. You know, his kids, his girls, you know, I, I remember when they were just doing little, little, little bitty things. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's funny, you know, when you've been away from these people for like 10, 11, 12 years, and you really haven't stayed in contact other than social media. And not everybody posts like maybe you listening does. I post a lot um, because I have to, you know, just in order to get people to gravitate towards the podcast, hopefully. And it helps and it works. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, he does, you know, post here and there and stuff. But I'm like, God, they're that old, you know. And then, <laughs> you know, we have other friends, you know, like, you know, I'm just going like Steve and Valerie. I'm going, she's getting married. Yeah. You know, or somebody else like. She just had a baby. But it was funny because Jack said the same thing to me. He was like, how old are the kids now? Right. And I was like 23 and 19. And he said, whoa. Like, wow. Yeah. Because he remembers when Ariel was five. Yeah, it's 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 odd when you're... And this, this whole situation has been very interesting and very odd for me. Because <laughs> you know, I didn't know what to expect when I came back. I mean, there's no doubt when I go to the uh, the airport of employment, I check uh, numerous bags. <laughs> the, the, you like to carry baggage. The Employment International Airport yeah. of America. You know, there's no there's there's no doubt about it, and you know for whatever reason. But there gets a, to be a point in time where it's water under the bridge. And, oh my God! Like ten years ago. And you just kind of move on from stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. But but I think when you start talking kids and family and you get out of work mode, that's when things start to resonate. You know, they mm-hmm. start to people start to realize they're like, you know what? You know, maybe I had an issue or yeah. maybe that was a problem because it took me. It took me I mean, it took me a long time. I don't know exactly when it hit me, but it took me a long time to realize that radio wasn't my life. Yeah. You know, like, I think I was more addicted to the idea that 
I was on the radio, that people knew who I was, that I could get into places or get these things for free. And it, it was just that kind of, I don't know. Can but I tell you the different side of things that I see from this side because I've gone through the whole process with you? Hmm. Is the difference, and it was like the change happened when um, radio was not life. Your family was your life. We were your life. When we moved to Georgia, and um, it was just like, just happened. And, you know, me and the kids are your life. This is what you're, you're, you're building your world for. You're building your future to make sure that the kids have the best future they could possibly have. Like, what are we doing to move forward for this purpose? And you went from, and I saw it, you went from the bachelor that was never having kids, never getting married again, all of that to, you real liked me a <laughs> lot. <laughs> but then I come in and I've got these little kids and, I mean, you were wrapped instantly. And then it just, you could see it grow. And there's no parent handbook. Nobody freaking knows what they're doing. Even uh, even though they may think they do, nobody knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So you learn as you go, and that's everyone. Mm -hmm. Whether, you know, you've taken on children that had lost a parent, you know, with, um, with my first husband passing away in the military, and so you took on like a whole shit show yeah. <laughs> and, and you never faltered. You never, you talk about complicating your life even more. This yeah. is what I did. You did good. Yeah. It's, it's cool. I liked it. You know, let's rock with it. <laughs> so, um, but you took on all of this and like children that needed that stability and that family and that feel and the, um, they just what they needed you gave to them and you literally never backed down like you were always there Caleb was a dick teenager total dick and you never left me I know <laughs> god <laughs> ever there were some nights though I gotta tell you I know I was like I gotta get back to ba uh, big Betty a uh, big daddy bang bang status yeah never yeah. you never went back you never ever looked back that's incredible. Yeah. Like I know, I know I'm a lucky lady. Yeah, you are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> by the way, for those listening, that gives you another reason to subscribe for the BS podcast because yeah. uh, you have to afford this. I have to afford this family. I need help. <laughs> 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 but your goal has always been to make sure that we have this incredible life that we're raising the children in. And that has been your drive for working forward and so how hard you work. Mm. Like there's nobody in your business that works as hard as you do. And I tell you when you suck and it's not when it comes to hard work and family and how our world is going to be, you're literally the best at it. Oh. And so oh, sweet. I know you're you, welcome. You're so sweet. But bees is uh, the one that I think she's the one that tamed that. Probably, you know, and, and it's funny because we you know we're at the event. Uh, I forget who said it, but they're like, she's what? Nine, she's what? 19. You know, and then when you see the pictures of her on social media, you're like, she's twenty. What? She's almost thirty, right? You know, nope. I mean. Like and she chooses gorgeous. not to wear a lot of clothes to football games. Is that, <laughs> is that is that her choice or is that a is that a forced thing in Alabama? Explain that to me. Trendy. It's it's tr it's a trendy thing, I guess. We trendy. <clears throat> we trendy. We trendy up in there. Roll tide roll. <laughs> Bammer jammers. We like to roll tide roll. We like to roll tide roll. Uh, so this weekend coming up will be the first weekend that Bees comes back home. And she's been out of the house now since the middle of August. Mm -hmm. So she's oh, first week of August. First week of August. So yeah. it really hasn't been that long. Oh, long enough. Right, long enough. I mean, I miss her too, of course. I miss her every day. But day. but in the whole scheme of things, is she's you know this will be and it's so almost two months. 
Yeah. Okay, almost two months. Now, again, I remember when I was gone for the first time in college, mm -hmm. and I did miss home. There's no doubt about it. I missed home. But your freshman year in college, you miss home a lot more than your sophomore, junior, and senior year in college. And when I say home, you're – you missed the home of where you went to high school at. Mm -hmm. So when she comes home to Orlando, where she did not go to high school. No, she's born and bred. Well, not born and bred. She was bred in Georgia. Right. So it's going to be a little bit different vibe. Like, I'm really pissed off at myself uh, because I put her in all these different predicaments that I would want her to experience what I know. And that's going home to where you went to high school your freshman year, going off to the school that you plan on going to for four or five years, you know, right out of the gates. It would have made things so much more easy, especially with the sorority stuff and the transfer. It just, it's like, I really just screwed it all up. Um, but, you know, you got to deal with what you got to deal with. You know, she goes, she's stronger for it, and she doesn't waver at all. Yeah, she's stronger she's, for it because she, she, she has to. I mean, she's got no choice. You know, she's, she's got her choice. But the reason I bring that up is because, in, in, and again, you know, if you're listening, you, 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 this might kind of bring you back a little bit, was that first time that you came home and, you know, how it felt and what you wanted to do. And, and I know that the first time that I came home, uh, my freshman year, again, remember, I went to, for the first two years of school, I went and played football at a small school in North Carolina called Wingate. And so I was, you know, it wasn't a, it was a D2 school, you know, so I'm nothing special, right? But I'm still in college playing football. It's kind of neat. And then you come, right. and then you come back. And what do you do when you come back? You go to your high school, you know, and you, yeah. and you screech the situation. <laughs> and that, you know, and that kind of tails off when you get into your sophomore. Or it should tail off when you get, like, if you're a senior, no, senior is okay because then you're, you're kind of like a mentor, but it's that sophomore junior year in college. If you're still hanging out at your high school, not good, not Don't good. Do it. You know, you'll always see the guys on the sideline at the football games and <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're wearing their old jerseys from high school. So it's just, it's, it gets weird. I understand it that, you know, nothing but love and I went through it, but it's just weird, right? It's just weird. Um, so she, when she comes back, it's just straight up in your face, us and, and King Henry. But that's why she wants to come home. Yeah. That's what she, I literally last night got a text from her. She was crying because she's so excited. She, she misses Henry and us. Henry did come first. Uh, that's what I thought. It's fine. But Henry and us, she did include us in that conversation. That's sweet. Um, but she can't wait to come home because she hasn't been home and she just misses home and she wants to sleep in her own bed and she wants to see us. You have to know that my bestie, she needs me. Mm -hmm. She needs the dog more, though. I hate to tell I you know. that. Hey, you should buy me a plane ticket. I just got to come home. <laughs> I, I just miss. I just miss my dog so much. She and, does. and by the way, I can't wait to see you too. I know. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Henry misses her just as much. Yeah. It's okay. Uh yeah, well it's 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 gonna be Henry first. There's no it doubt. It is, about and she'll probably be ready to see tears. Mm -hmm. I mean like full blown gushing tears. So let me ask this question <clears throat> uh for you listening is is, is a month and a half, almost two months too soon? No. Eh. Why? Yeah. I, 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 it's I, not back in the day. What's it? It doesn't matter well, back in the day. Girls and boys are different, too. You fellas are different. Uh, like, I've always told bees, and I've told you this, and I told Caleb, I tell everybody who listen to this. I said, loneliness is, is, is not a bad thing. You know, like, you have to understand it you have to adapt to it you have to accept it embrace it because once you do that especially as a as a female then you're not going to lean on anyone that could possibly take advantage of you mm -hmm. when you're in that situation when yeah. you're that rainy friday night and everybody's at a party and you're at home on your couch watching television 
by yourself, are you going to be okay with that versus calling God knows who and saying, hey, come over, I'm lonely, There's, then they just well, She does a really, really good job with that. She does not, and, I mean, she has bunches of friends and hangs out and does all the things, but she does a really good job of being by herself and knowing when, this is huge, knowing when she needs to plug in and, you know, or I guess it would be unplug you know, from the social side of things and just have her own time. Mm. She knows how to do all of that. But this girl needs her mama. Mm. Well, yeah. She's only going to be here for like 48 hours. Hey, I know. I know. It's real hard for me. So you got a big uh, Saturday to plan. Yeah. And I, I think that Saturday will be planned at the house around the pool. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like I was, th- I was thinking, I was like, okay, well, you know, we can grill and, you she know. She don't want to go anywhere. She just wants to be here <laughs> in her bed with Henry hanging out with us. Yeah. I was like, what do I make? What's, what? I'm trying to think, what's her favorite food that I grill, you know? But- Everything that you grill. She was so, <laughs> I sent her pictures from the Labor Day party that we had, mm-hmm. and she was like, y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> she had, like, the spread of everything like we normally do. Mm. And she's like, dang. Like, she would have driven home for that weekend <laughs> if she didn't have class when she did. When she did. The brisket. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know what? That, that might have been one of the better briskets that I've ever done. It was really good. It was gone. And... The grassroots campaign for my brisket has already started oh, because no. there are people at the house <laughs> eating that brisket that now it's gotten back and now it's gotten back. So I heard from like four deep, you know, four degrees to the person Oh no! that I just happened to reconnect with the other day. Yeah. And they were like, hey, look, I heard about your brisket. <laughs> and I said, how did you hear about my brisket? And then it's like, uh, blah, 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 told me. I was like, well, how did they? Oh, they, and then I started to kind of piece it together. Yeah. I was like, that's crazy. So it was so like, funny. it was the hint, hint, uh-huh. let me get on the invite yeah. next time you yeah. guys do this kind of thing. I was like, of course, yeah, come on over, more the merrier. I have to tell you, when we were at that event the other day, your Florida listeners, these are OG Buckethead, pe- like these people are beast like they are loyal as i don't know what because i had never like they recognized you with a hat and sunglasses on <laughs> like you were not showy no nothing you weren't out there i didn't have a no bs shirts on no nothing and you had a hat sunglasses like you were going ig- incognito and they're like buckethead is that you you know what that tells you <laughs> you know what that should tell you that the kid hasn't aged a bit. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? <laughs> Either that or they've got like age filters on their eyes. And they're like, this is what he would look like, you know, 12 years later. Oh, okay. That's him right the there. The hat and the sunglasses save you. Right. Yeah. It's like saves you from your gray hairs and you can't see anything. Mm-hmm. All yeah. right. Uh, but that was, you know, that, that was, that was a good event. And, it was and, a really good event. And, 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 you know, it's nice to people, you know, cause they, you know, they do follow on social and mm-hmm. you never know who's following and, and, and if they're not interacting and stuff like that. And they were asking about the kids and, mm-hmm. and all those types of things. And, you know, with yeah. Caleb at the smoke shop, obviously a lot of people dig that and, yeah. you know, say. Uh, he, he keeps weed alive. He keeps weed alive in the yeah. state of Florida. And then with bees, obviously, she's, you know, the princess. So, you know, she gets talked about probably more than Caleb does. But so, you know, when she comes home this weekend. Oh, Caleb's probably coming home, too. Caleb will probably come home, too. I can get everybody all at once. But again, going back to my question before, is it too soon? Like, I always was under the impression the rule is the first time you come home is Thanksgiving. No way. Oh, my God. Although I do believe there was or is a fall break right before. There is a fall break right before, okay. which is newer. I don't know if that was a thing when you were in school or when. And it didn't really count when I was in school because I did it with online and community college. It's fine. Um I don't know if the schedules for, they kind of split everything up differently now. 
to where there are more like that Labor Day weekend is a little bit longer. Like everything is like they took a day off of Christmas break or whatever and like stuck it here and there it, to make more breaks. Mm -hmm. So they have spread out time. Right. Well, so I don't know. Well, I, you know, as much as I want to see Ariel and as much as I can't wait to see Ariel, I do believe in rules and tradition. I know. Jason Bailey rules. And no, this is the universe's no, rules. They're Jason Bailey rules. And she should not come home this weekend. And by college Bite rule. Bite your tongue. By college rule. Oh, my God. She has to wait until Thanksgiving. Nope. Because that's the test of the first time away from the house. Can you last that long without breaking down? I don't like your Jason Bailey rules. <laughs> I think they're real dumb. <laughs> not a fan. I'm just telling you. Uh -huh. I'm just telling okay, you. Okay, you know what? I take back everything that I said. All these nice things that I said about <laughs> you, gone. Out the window. I just changed my mind. You remember I told you I tell you when you suck? Mm -hmm. Right now. Mm -hmm. Right now you suck. And the other thing is that, you know, she's she's dri she's not driving. She's uh She's flying. She's flying. So it's kind of cooler when she if she were to drive cuz then we could load up the car with stuff. Oh, yeah, send her back with stuff. Yeah, send her That's with fun. care packages like you're going to need 18 cases of water. <laughs> <laughs> but the next time she comes, it'll be for the longer break, and she'll come and she'll drive. Mm -hmm. But but also, FYI, real soon, we have a football game to go to. Yeah. We're, that we're going there. We're trying to figure out how to get up. It's the, it's the Georgia-Alabama game. Yeah. And it's in Tuscaloosa. It's a big deal, y'all. And so we're trying to figure, I guess we're going to stay in Hoover, uh, Alabama. We're just trying to find, a, I don't know. I don't know where we're going to stay. We might sleep on the, so, so somebody told me that it's like, why don't you stay at Bees' condo? Because there's a ton of kids that are there that are coming in from out of town also. We don't want to stay with the college kids. <laughs> You're not allowed to, No. Jason Bailey, yeah. you are not allowed to stay with the college kids, Frank yeah, the Tank. I'd be, yeah, it'd be cool, man. I'd be no. like, what's up, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> no. You'd be like, why are you touching my daughter? <laughs> what, what What? are all these kids doing with alcohol? Oh, that's, oh a, well. Oh, my God. That's another thing. I'd have to, I'd have to moderate that. You I'd have to police that. You can't regulate. I'd have to regulate. They're in like, college. I, oh, my goodness. Look, your mother brought over pictures the other day. And you know what were in those pictures? Hmm. It was you, and you had a name tag on. And one of those, hello, my name is, mm. it said, with a, a mixed drink in your hand, and the girl that was in your in the picture with you had a, a natural light. Mm. Okay. Or no, was it natural light or bush? Oh, <laughs> I mean, either way. And you had a name tag on that said, hello, my name is Mr. Salami. Yeah. You got a thumbs up on the screen <laughs> on that one. Yeah, I don't know why, but you did. <laughs> Mr. Salami. Yeah. And with alcohol in the picture, you were her same age. Yeah. No, I was older then. I was 21, 22. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, because I was at UCF. So okay. I, I, I turned 21 by that so time. So you weren't doing any of those things before that? Don't oh. tell stories. Oh, yeah. I started drinking when I was in seventh grade. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I uh, think your mom got you a keg for your 18th birthday. She did. It was cool. Ice House. It was. <laughs> it was like a former wrestler was the DJ, and he wore his wrestling boots out there, and it was pretty neat. It was It was pretty cool. Yeah, so you're going to go to your daughter's condo mm -hmm. on campus in University of Alabama and be the fun ruiner. No, no, no. I'd, 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 they wouldn't even know I was a dad. I'd just kind of mingle. <laughs> I would I mesh. I don't think I believe you. I would mesh in with the kids. <laughs> All right. Frank the Tank. Nah, Frank the I would have to tank. change my name to something today like Chaz or Hudson or <laughs> <laughs> or whatever they call I don't themselves. Think you can be twinsies. They, they also they all, all their names sound like a condition. <laughs> you know, I've got the Chaz uh, Chaz McMillan. What's that? Oh, it's it's a disease under my armpits. I don't know. Just always. There's you got an armpit disease? No, I'm saying a Chaz, their names sound like oh. a disease. Yeah, Follow along well, here. Focus. I got it. Yeah. I got it. But I'm talking about armpit diseases. So, um, yeah. So if anybody's got any advice for a place for us to stay up there, we'd appreciate it. Oh, yeah. We have no idea. Without paying $1,000 a night at a it's Red Roof Inn. It's kind of obscene. 
Yeah. Like, really ridiculous that the upcharge of the rooms and places to stay and everything, like, that's crazy. I wonder if Nick, Nick Saban probably still has his place up there. He's not using it. Why don't you call him? Yeah, I'd call up old Nicky. Yeah. And say, like dude, can we just, we just need a room and a bathroom, that's yeah. all. They just dedicated the field to him. Did they really? Yeah. Oh, like, wow. Uh, last weekend. It's the Nick Saban um, front whatever field. Or Saban, <laughs> Saban field or whatever. Yeah. I'll no. Have, I'll have to go back and look. No, because the it's the uh, Let me Denny, pull, Denny Bryant. Hey, I'm going to pull up the picture. They're not, they're not going to, they're not going to just get rid of Bear Bryant's name. I don't think that they did. They just did um, like. In addition to, so there were pictures posted. It was a thing. Uh, hold on, let me look and see. I can see them adding Saban's name, and rightfully so, but they're not getting rid of. Yeah, I think they, uh, um, it was like they did a whole ceremony and like across the, you know, where they do the the names or whatever, mm. uh, the field or whatever that's in that one um, before you go to that second tier up. It was Saban something or other field. I didn't. I didn't look all the way. But uh, it sounds it, like you need to look all the way because I you, you you sound like soup. Hey, like, I, don't I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> anyway, thank God this isn't a sports. Honey, I watch sports. Honey, I don't watch sports. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I had time for that business. I got to keep up with the Bammers. All right. Uh, give us a like, share, follow on social media at Listen to the BS. All the information on TheBaileyShow.com, including sponsorship opportunity. If you are interested in sponsoring the podcasts, uh, interested in sponsoring the radio show on WJRR in Orlando, uh, where we take a condensed version of the BS and put it on there Saturday mornings from 6 to 9. That, oh. by the way, is about to expand. What's that? Saban Field at Bryant Denning Stadium. Wow, that's interesting. They just did that and unveiled it and did a whole like parade and ceremony and everything that was last Saturday before wow. the game. So it is now called Saban Field at Bryant Denny Stadium. Wow. I wonder if that was part of the package to get him to walk away. Oh, that's because that's big. That's look. You can see it. To have title over Bear Bryant. Yeah. You know, that's it's pretty his big. Field at Bryant Denny T- Stadium. Wow, that's big. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, get all that information on the Bailey show.com, including podcast and pours. we got three coming up Saturday, October 14th in Atlanta, uh, at Tannery row, Buford, Georgia, to be exact distinct grace headlining, please make your way out there. Uh, and, and love to see you. We'll all be there. Uh, and then podcast and pours four. we are almost sold out of tier two tickets it was tier one went quick tier two tickets are now about to sell. They might actually buy this time be sold out. So the sooner you get your tickets for Podcast and Pours for Saturday, December 14th with saliva, click, click, boom, headlining with a special acoustic performance, also distinct grace, uh, the cheaper they will be. VIP tick, uh, tables are available as well. Uh, and sponsorship opportunity for Podcast and Pours 4. If you'd like to sponsor that, have a little booth, an event, uh, a little place out there in, in, in the courtyard, uh, we can set that up for you. So let's just have a conversation, right? Get a hold of me via thebaileyshow.com. All right, you got anything before we get out? Bam, ready, roll tide. Roll tide, roll. Roll yep. tide, roll. All right. I'm ready. Uh, enjoy the shows the rest of the week. As always, we appreciate your, your support. Uh, until next time, sir. Bye. I realize not everyone feels this way. And if you are okay with this stage of your life, honestly, more power to you. Thanks for listening. Get more information and episodes on thebaileyshow.com. Honey, I raised the kids. Subscribe at thebaileyshow.com. Yeah, baby.